Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video we are going to take this regular old radio and we are going to make it look way cooler and we are going to do that by adding grip tape and we're not just going to take the grip tape and put it on, we're going to give it a little bit of style, a little bit of personality and a little bit of character. Let's go. Alright pilots, so if you're into DJI or you just wanted the best video possible, you wanted HD FPV, then you cashed in and you bought yourself a DJI system. Now, you might have stuck with the DJI goggles and the air unit and a crossfire and a different radio with a crossfire module in it. And if you did that, cool, good for you. If you did not and you went ahead and got yourself a DJI radio, then you are stuck with this basic radio it doesn't even have a screen on it for peeps sake so what i've done is i went online and i bought myself some grip tape you can find this online or a link down in the video description i got this marker right here you can get it from amazon or walmart or wherever i will drop a link to this too also in the video description and we are going to make this grip tape have a little bit of personality and then after we do that we're going to put the tape on here and the radio is going to look cool because guess what right now when you line up these sick ass goggles next to this radio it just doesn't do justice now i do want to say if you're interested in how i did this i've got a full video on it and it is a sick video you can go ahead and check that video out all right so the first thing i did is i found something that if i got some paint on there it wouldn't be the end of the world and then I grab my grip tape and we're going to lock it down so that way it's not moving around on us. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our marker. Wow, that's not good. All right, so we've got our marker and you can smell it kicking. Boy, is she kicking. I'm going to grab something I can push with. Probably got to get it going, huh? Two hours later. All right, she's finally starting to hit now. All right, so. There it is. So what we want to do is we want to put a design we don't have a huge canvas. We can't do a big, amazing picture. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some lines across here to add some character to it. Because as of right now, we've got nothing. So look at that. That looks freaking wicked. Alright pilots, if you buy this stuff, be careful because the paint does like to bleed. This is my first time, so I don't know how I did, but we're getting creative. We're having fun. This is what the hobby's all about. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty cool, so I'm going to let it dry and then we'll put it on. Okay pilots, we are back. It appears to be nice and dry. It actually came out pretty good. I mean, I'm not like... Oh my God, it's so amazing. But it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it, you know. I would have liked to have had some space to actually do some design work, but unfortunately, that's not what we had to work with. All right, so we're gonna start with the very first thing, and that is going to be putting on one of the sides. So we need to pop these, and we're gonna take this out. Boom, we're gonna throw that there and we will throw this here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and unload all of these and then I'll meet you back here. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and stick them on. So we're gonna start with this and this goes right here. Peel off the back cover 
and do your best to drop it in place. Now we'll do the other side. Oh wow, that's looking kind of cool. I'm getting a little bit excited. All right, now we need to put these grippers on and we'll line it up. And drop it on. Wow, that feels good. I like the way that feels, man. Okay. Now we'll pop this up and we'll do the back side. And these drop in right where your fingers go. Now we want to start it at about the same height. Alrighty. And now last but not least, we are going to stick on the last part. Looks freaking cool, man. Look at this side. Look at this side with the arrow. And you could have done whatever design you wanted. This is just what I chose to do. You know, I wanted to try something different. You don't even have to use any of the silver paint if you don't want to. You don't have to. And I'm going to tell you right now, the feel of this thing just feels absolutely amazing. If you grab it like this, you can feel the grips that are right here. You can feel these. They just all feel so good. I think this was a great touch for the radio. If you guys were interested in, uh, well, you know, maybe how to put it on, which I don't think you really needed, but maybe you just want to know what it looked like. You want to know, you know, get a little creative. What can I do? You can buy some, you can buy a paint marker and you can make this thing look really freaking awesome. So I'm glad I did mine. I think it came out great. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.